a bit of dying, are we? Aha! There you are! I won't wait. That's stupid. No! Potato! Stupid one. Both camps cleared. Adam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. I pressed Ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. <laughs> Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. This place has seen better days. It's like a place right out of a storybook. I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Madam Beaumont, might I speak with you? Oh, I'd be happy to speak with you. Especially after your help ridding us of Ranrock's loyalists. Mrs. Sprottle told me a little more about your brother Bardolph. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolph herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolph's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. Could Bardolph have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. Bardo, where are you? I'll not give up hope. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Lumos. Defender. Expelliarmus. Incendio.
Tobbs' master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Protego! Stupid one! Lumos! Stupid one! Kunfringo! Expelliarmus! Incendium. It looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Incendio! Lumos! Protego! Rebellion. Expelliarmus! 
Incendio. Pink Ringo. Defender. Glacier. Incendio. Feeling that house elf is tops. Poor tops. Left here alone with the spiders. familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. This looks intriguing. Potato! Stupid one! Kundringo! Expelliarmus! Stupid one! Defender! Incendio! Is that Inferius wearing a wooden jacket? That must be Bardock. Protego! Stupid one! Incendio! Oh, 
I'm not sure Madame Beaumont would want to know what really happened to him. Confringo! Expelliarmus! Thank you for all that you've done for us. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Bardolf! Bardolf, my dear, dear brother. Thank you for passing through. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. <laughs> My husband. What will I do? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband? Dead! He killed him! Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing. So he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... ...when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, ...I'm afraid to leave. In case he comes back home. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... <laughs> he was convinced that... <laughs> Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? He's Victor Rookwood's second-in-command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. Where could Archie? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. 
This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle... Revelio. Archie! Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Rebellion! that wolf pack. We should look around. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio! Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Halo caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must listen. My father was a wonderful man. I... Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Revelio. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I felt. Protect him! Be on your guard. There can be no mistake. Perhaps you ought to be incendiary. Let's 
Zept. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Revelio. I don't think he saw it happen. You attack his totalis. Accio. Descend. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Defender. Rebellion. How can Archie? Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Aloha, Mora. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. <laughs> 